Welcome in to Drew Silly Diamond for Monday, October 14th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Wager Talk's hottest pick show going for you off the profitable weekend. We are now on a 23 and 9. That's 72 percent plus 13 units of profit over the last 10 days. Guys, that's not only giving out minus 140, minus 160 favorites and then claiming the percentage. It is up 13 units, guys. $100 better up 1000 three hundred dollars we are factoring in the vig on that hey let's get into the games we got two mlb playoff games coming your way monday night football as well pretty sleeper monday night betting action as we'll go in order of first pitch in order of kickoff here we don't have to wait around long 408 eastern 108 pacific that is local time here we are heading to southern california for the Los Angeles Dodgers, New York Mets, game two, Sean Manaya on the hill for the Metropolitans. Looks like an opener for the Dodgers. Brazier, the slated starter, minus 138. That is the Dodgers as the home favorite, total of eight. Dodgers come in one game up in the series. They won game one on Sunday night. They did win it nine to nothing. The Mets only getting three hits there. Looking at the pitching matchup, Manaya the southpaw for the Mets. Just one in five against the Dodgers with over a seven ERA in his career. Now going up against the Dodgers bats that have started to find some life here. Shohei Otani, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman combining to go five for 11, five RBIs last night. So if that middle of the lineup gets hot, watch out here going up against the Dodgers. And the Dodgers bullpen on the other side, you know, going likely with the, the opener here. We'll see who gets the bulk innings. It might just be a straight bullpen game for the Dodgers which isn't necessarily a bad thing for Los Angeles. 33 straight bullpen innings, scoreless. So uh, they are riding some hot hot left and right arms there in the Dodgers pen. Dodgers did win the season series 4-2, obviously winning game one, 9-0, blowout fashion. They've also won three straight games, you know, beating the Padres there at the end when they were down in the series. Overall, guys, it's a little ride the hot, fade the cold here. I think the Dodgers are the play. Laying the 38 cents, it's the Dodgers over the Mets to start off our uh, our Monday betting card here. We'll move to 737 Eastern, 437 Pacific. Game number one of the American League Championship Series. It's Cleveland versus New York. The Guardians and the Yankees here. We get Carlos Rodon, the Southpaw, going for the Bronx Bombers. Alex Cobb going for Cleveland. Seven in the hook being the total. Minus 160, the Yankees, pretty heavy home favorites. Now, Alex Cobb on the hill, he's more of a ground ball pitcher. I like that going up against the Yankees lineup. Plus the fact he likely leads in, likely probably pretty early, to Cleveland, arguably the best bullpen left here in the playoffs. Now, did bring up the Dodgers and their scoreless streak, but overall, I think Cleveland might have the best bullpen arms left. They got Class A as the closer. Their setup guy, Cade Smith, he struck out 12 of 22 batters faced in the playoffs. They got a bunch of arms. They're pretty deep here for their pen. Another breakdown of this kind of series overall, obviously game one part of it, Cleveland stole 60 more bases than the Yankees throughout this season. So taking the extra base, I think that's on Cleveland's side. Now, the New York Yankees lineup overall, the big names, you know, Judge in there. If they get going, it's going to be a tough series for Cleveland. But for game one, the pitching matchup, I don't give, you know, 60 cents to, to Carlos Rodon over Alex Cobb. I mean, Carlos Rodon came out in his only, what, playoff appearance so far this season. Didn't make it out of the fourth inning, giving up four runs, seven hits. And now he's going up against a Cleveland lineup that does not strike out much. Overall, guys, I think Cleveland plus 145, I think that's too big of a dog price here. I think this should be more of like an even price game one. So overall, that's going to put us on Cleveland here. Plus 145, the big dog barking in Yankee Stadium. That is the night game in the MLB playoffs here. So uh, we got the Monday night football game up next. A reminder, if you can comment below, guys. It helps out the algorithm, looking to grow the show. Anything is welcome, where you agree, where you disagree. Hey, if you're following along on this 23-9, and nine, up over 70% run over the last 10 days, if you've been getting some profits, uh, yeah, help me out with some comments below. Let me know what you're betting as well. I'll be in there chiming in throughout the day. We get AFC East, Monday night football, division matchup here with the Jets 
hosting the Bills. New York State battle, 8.15 Eastern, 5.15 Pacific kick here. 41 being the total. We are seeing the Bills minus one. Tight point spread here as the short road favorite. Short trip for the Bills, relatively speaking. Buffalo staying in state here. They also won the last meeting last November, 32 to six, blowout fashion here over the Jets. Now, the Bills have lost two straight games, but when you look at the games they lost to, it was the Houston Texans, Baltimore Ravens. Both of those quarterbacks, CJ Stroud, Lamar Jackson, bring a different element to playing the quarterback position than Aaron Rodgers. Now, Aaron Rodgers overall heading to the Hall of Fame, great quarterback, great career. But the mobility factor at over 40 years old, he also had an ankle injury in the last game. He's likely still to play, but just something to bring in here. You know, if he's a little bit banged up with the age, it's just not the same type of dynamic that this Buffalo Bills defense is going to be facing. And then we look at the Jets side of things. They just fired their head coach. That makes it a tricky handicap in itself. You know, as a sports better, I'm always looking for change. And we get change here with the, with the Jets. So this is going to be a big learning learning curve for the sports better, meaning I'm going to be watching every play of this, see how the Jets are playing, see what they're doing differently, both defensively and offensively, because it's something we can learn going forward in the coming weeks to kind of get an advantage over the odds makers. But bringing it back here, speaking to this matchup, I don't like the schedule spot for the Jets. And that being they just played the Minnesota Vikings in London, and they lost that game. Mentioned the uh, Aaron Rodgers kind of ankle injury there. They lost that. It, it, they lost to the Vikings. And they also did not get a bye week after traveling back from London. Usually the NFL grants the teams that went to London a bye week. Well, I mean, they get one extra day, but it's not a full bye week here. So I don't like that in terms of schedule spot for the Jets. Plus, the Jets are just 2-8 and eight, their last 10 as underdogs. Mentioned the last time these two played. You know, Buffalo blew them out. I think the Bills here, you know, the, the market's been buying on the Jets, likely due to the uh, head coach being fired, looking for a little spark. I don't necessarily buy it, guys. I, I like the Bills minus one here. So uh, pretty much just to win the game, but it's minus one across the board. We're on the Bills over the Jets to end it on Monday night. Monday night football, Bills minus one over the Jets. In recap, we got the Dodgers leading us off, minus 138. Favorites over the Mets to win game two. In game one of the ALCS, we're on the big dog. Cleveland Guardians plus 145 to surprise the New York Yankees and take a 1-0 lead in the series. Guys, I'm Drew Martin checking out for the Monday show. We'll be back early on Tuesday. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Enjoy your Monday.